as the designee of the minority leader. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks on the topic of this special order. Without objection. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, what is the American businessman to do when the American worker will not come into work? For the past nearly seven months, this president has held America's small business owners hostage and declared a de facto strike on the American economy. Following the end of this COVID pandemic, the Biden administration has been granted the political gift of a lifetime. Take a staggering American economy, still, still reeling from the economic collapse, and simply let it return to normal. If the Biden administration had done nothing, zero, if they had sat on their hands and twiddled their thumbs, if Joe Biden had taken more naps than, expert, than experts say our economy would be in a much better place than where it is right now. Instead, the Biden administration's efforts place the American economy on a financial chokehold that threatens to obliterate hundreds of small businesses in my district. It was Thomas Jefferson that said, facts are stubborn things. And whatever may be our wishes or the dictates of our passions, they cannot alter the state of facts and evidence. Let's cast our eyes over the facts, shall we? Back in April, economists predicted over one million new jobs would be added to our economy. Biden added just over 250,000. In May's economics adjustment adjusted to their ex expectations, acknowledging that this administration simply cannot deliver the type of job growth past administrations could. Even with adjusted expectations, the Biden administration still fell short of the mark. There is no debate that the Biden administration of free handouts has dramatically undercut efforts to restart our economy. His massive increase on unemployment benefits has kept workers at home and left store owners scrambling to keep up with the growing consumer demand. In my own district, business leaders in Asheville, Hendersonville, Franklin, and Macon County have spoken to me about the difficulty in getting employees back to work. And who can blame them? Biden is literally paying American citizens to stay home instead of getting them back to work. Who would fault an American husband or mother? when they decide to stay home with their family and earn double their salary while doing it. The Biden administration knows that their policy of handouts harms, harms and is hurting business owners. But the game has always been about creating a welfare class, not empowering our economy. It's disgusting. And with those thoughts in mind, I now recognize one of my fellow North Carolina champions, Dan Bishop. 